before we start adding the actual uh, motion to this um, this inventory tool, uh, we'll need to fix one simple bug because when I um, pick up some different items here and put them in my bank, you'll see that I'll be able to duplicate these items by saving, moving the item and loading. And as you can see, now I just duplicate the sword, I can do it again and load. Then I can do like this and load. And you'll see that the I can keep duplicating these swords here. And the reason that I can duplicate the swords is because I'm never uh, clearing out the um, the bank inventory when I'm loading. So I need to clear out the bank inventory uh, when I press the load button. Um, and to do that, we'll have to go to the inventory script here. And when your um, inventory script is open, we'll actually have to go to the um, chest inventory instead. Because in here, there is a load function and we're not doing anything in it right now. Um, because we're loading the chest from somewhere else. But we can basically just say uh, for each to run through all all the um, items we have in, in, the, in the chest. And then we can write game object um, slot. So for each slot in all slots. So now when we press the load button, we run through all the slots. And we will have to clear all the slots, so we can just say slot dot uh, get component to get the component on the slot, right slot, and clear slot. There we go. So what we're doing now is that we run through every single slot inside the um, inside the chest, and when we find the slot, we just clear it so that we are able to say, uh, load in the new items. Let's try to save this and jump back into Unity and play the game. Let's see if we pick up a couple of items here and then we move into the chest and place the items in the chest. Now I just used one, but anyway, save it. And if I move this over here and load, it jumps back into the original place here. So now we're not able to duplicate any items anymore from the, uh, from the chest by loading and saving. The next thing we'll have to do is to rename a script because right now we have our chests here with this chest script on it, but I would like to use the same script for our um, our merchant. Um, so instead of having chest script, we are going to rename it to um, inventory link because basically what it does is that it, it loads or it links a inventory, um, some kind of inventory here we can see visually to um, one of those boxes here. So it's basically a link between the box that we collide with to the actual UI elements here. So instead of having chess script, we are going to find it here inside the script folder. Chess script here, we are going to rename it by pressing F2. Um, and I'm going to rename it to inventory link. And if we open up our IDE after we do this, it will ask us to reload. And let's see, we should have that inventory link here. You can see it has the wrong name, so find the inventory link script. And you also have to rename it here instead of chess script, it has to be named inventory link. There we go. So now it has been renamed to inventory link. And if we save this, jump back into Unity, you'll see that it has the inventory link script on it now instead of um, yeah, in, instead of this uh, um, chest script. And you can see this one links to the chest inventory, while if we go to the material here, uh, no, not material, crafting, this crafting bench here links to the crafting bench. So basically, we will also at some point have to switch out the crafting bench script here, but we'll not focus on that right now because everything works. Um, so let's just leave the crafting script here for now. Um, the next thing we'll have to do is to create our vendor and we can find we can basically just copy one of these So let's just take the materials here right click on it and duplicate it and Then just drag it somewhere to the side so that we have it and I'm going to rename this one to vendor So this is our vendor where we can buy our stuff from and right now it has a tag material um, it shouldn't have that, we should just add a new tag. So click on the tag here, go to add tag, 
click on the plus and right window or motion or whatever you want to call it I guess it's the same um, when you've done that remember to tag it again click on the window click on the tag and click on window tag here so now we have tagged it as window the next thing we'll have to do is to link it to a um, to a UI element so that we can show the player what the window is selling so basically we can take our let's say our inventory here and we can basically right click on it and uh, duplicate it so this inventory here is going to be our merchant so or vendor so right click on it and call it uh, vendor window or something so this is our vendor that we are going to actually just call it vendor inventory makes sense so this is going to be the vendor that we open up when we go into the um, into the box here actually I think it would be better to copy a chest instead because they have the same functionality the chest has the same functionality as the vendor so basically um, take their chest inventory and right click on it and duplicate that instead and rename that to vendor inventory okay so that makes a little more sense because it's going to work better as a chest because basically the vendor is a chest that you need to put down some money to be able to withdraw from right so we will have to add a new script to it so instead of a chest inventory we will have to add a new um, vendor inventory script and add it to this one so on the vendor inventory we can select it here go to the scene view by clicking on it and mousing over here and pressing F then we select it and we can just move it a little away from this so that it doesn't stack on top of your own inventory just going to place it um, let's say we place it underneath the save and the load button here there we go so when we've done that we can right click on the chest inventory script on the vendor inventory and here we can remove component so that we remove it and the next thing we'll have to do is to create a new script that this um, inventory will uh, or, or this uh, uh, this vendor will have on him so right click in your script folder click create select C sharp script and then we can rename this to vendor inventory there we go and then just double click on it to open it up so first of all the inventory will have to inherit from the inventory class so click on the in, in the top of the script here and replace mono behavior with um, inventory there we go so now this vendor inventory has everything that the inventory has that is shared at least so if we go here and select the vendor and we'll take the vendor inventory script and drag onto it then you'll see that it has all these fields here that any other um, when any other inventory we have will have because it just inherits from uh, inventory so let's try to set this one up like one of our chests let's see fade time needs to be one the canvas group it uses well that's the canvas group up here so we can just take it and drag it onto it then we have the slot size I think we're using 20 or 25 let's see inventory 25 we're using and then 2 to 20 five so let's try again 25 and then 2 2 20 and 5 so now we should have a inventory that looks um, kind of like our um, li like our chests maybe I'm going to move it a little to the left so it doesn't go over the edge of the screen um, what else let's let's set it up so that we can open it at least so if we click on the vendor here you'll see that it doesn't have any script on it but we'll have to put the inventory link on him so we have to find the inventory link script and drag it onto here and here it says like that it needs to refer to a chest inventory so basically the chest inventory is our vendor so maybe we should re rename this at some point if we open the inventory link script you'll see this one is called chest inventory and basically it doesn't need to be a chest inventory it needs to be 
a inventory so change the chest inventory to inventory uh, with capital I I guess go and um, basically you know what nope let's uh, let's keep it at chest inventory actually sorry and I just remembered something let's see what did I write before there we go so let's just keep it at chest inventory because actually we will have to go to our um, what is it called our vendor inventory here instead of inheriting from inventory we will have to inherit from chest inventory because it's more like a chest it's not like a total inventory and we have some functionality inside our chest inventory that we would like to reuse um, for the vendor I guess so basically we will have to um, make sure that our vendor inventory is the same as a chest inventory so sorry about the confusion just just go to the vendor inventory script and change it to chest inventory back in the chest inventory um, no inventory link we'll have to rename this one instead of writing chest inventory um, we can rename it by pressing F2 and call it linked inventory that makes more sense with that name because the vendor is not a totally chest so when you've done that you can jump back into unity and you will notice that it has written linked inventory instead now and on the chests and everything it's also asking for linked inventory but as you can see it has set itself to none now because we just renamed the variable so we'll have to set them again just click on the chest and find the linked inventory and take the chest inventory and drag onto here and do the same for the rest of your chests here there we go okay so now that we have set that up we can tell the linked inventory or the vendor which inventory it should link to and it should link to the vendor inventory inside the canvas here so take the vendor inventory and drag it onto here and then we'll have to punch in the amount of rows uh, it needs to have let's say it has two rows and it has uh, 10 slots so it's two times, uh, two times five um, and the reason that we put this in here is that every single inventory link decides how many slots it wants to save but you might be wondering why do we have an amount of slots here this is just the amount of slots that the inventory creates so we can always put this higher and then we need to put the other one higher so this is just the pre-made amount of slots here that the, the the vendor can have so that we don't need to do them on runtime when we're playing the game Besides that, there is this max slots here, and we are not really using it because we can use the slots here instead. So basically, we will have to go back to the script here, and we need to find max slots. Let's see if we can find it somewhere. Go. Cool. We have this max slot here in the chest inventory. Basically, we can delete that inside the chest inventory because we don't need to use it. And here we just need to replace max slot with slots, like this. And then everything should still be working um, as before. So basically max slots, it's replaced with slots, so we, we don't have an extra value there. Okay, let's try to go back to Unity, see if we can open a chest and see if everything still works. Go to the chest here and open it up, and it still works, we can still open our chests. Okay so our vendor inventory has been linked to this one down here and it says it has two rows and 10 slots so let's try to go there um, and see i'm not even sure if we are maybe now we're not we're not um what is it called we're not linking correctly to it yet of course we need to go to the script and make sure when we collide with the vendor inventory um then we'll have to um show um, I give give the player a reference to the vendor so that he can open it up to fix that we'll have to go to the script and we'll have to find um, the player script and in here somewhere we are checking if we're colliding with a chest let's see here I think we're doing that inside let's just see other dot tag equals equals chest 
uh, here we go inside the on trigger enter of course and if we collide with the chest if, if that attack we collide with this chest then we set the chest to um, to equal that chest we just collided with so we'll also have to add the vendor here or if other dot tag equals vendor so now we should set up a reference to the chest that we just collided with let's try to save this and jump back into unity let's see here the vendor has a vendor tag on it so let's try one more time see if we get a reference again still get a null reference let's see what that is um inside the chest script update layout yeah okay let's go in here so it states that the error is on line 64 so it has something to do with all slots here and i guess it's because all slot is never instantiated for our um our vendor so we'll have to go to the vendor inventory here and as you can see yeah here the vendor inventory simply just overrides start and we're not handling it in any way we're not making sure that everything is instantiated as it uh, as it should so we'll have to go to the start function basically delete it also delete update and then we'll have to write um, protected no not like this we'll have to write protected override void um, start so we'll have to overwrite the start function here and for us to be able to do that we'll have to go up to the start function in our um, chest inventory here and here we'll have to make sure that our chest inventory inherits from inventory and go one more up go to definition and find the start function here we have here and you can see that it's just written void start and when something is just a void we're not able to override it so we'll have to make sure that we can all write that down in our inventory and to make it all writable we will have to make it virtual so basically we can just write virtual uh, public virtual void for example if we do public or protected virtual void if I could hit my keys correctly, there we go. So now we have allowed our inherited invent inventories to override the start function. So let's save this and jump in here. That's where the error was. So let's go to our window inventory. And now you can see it's totally legal for us to um, override the start function here. So we will have to write some code here. We'll have to say the amount of empty slots is equal to slots because we need that later to know how many empty slots the vendor has and then we'll have to call the start function up in our um, in our inventory so we have to write base that start to call that in inventory function up there and then we save and let's try to give it one more spin now let's try to run this let's see if we have some errors and now I can at least run into this without any problems. And if I press the E button, then the inventory opens up. So as you can see, now we have a vendor we can open, but he doesn't have any items right now. But we will add them in the next video. So this was just some bug fixing and some, um, some basic setup stuff.